<laughs> okay. My name is Abby and I've guided for one full year. Um, my name is Micah. I've been guiding for technically two years, I suppose. This is my first year. So one season. Uh, it's my fifth year. I became a river guide because I guided previously with my outdoor program at college and I knew I loved to connect with people outside through guiding. Um, and I felt like river guiding would be an awesome summer job. <laughs> um, because I love being on the water and this is just really, really beautiful up here and I just wanted to spend my summer up here. <laughs> had you had any like commercial guiding experience before this? Um, not on the water, no. Cool. Um, uh, I've been coming out here all my life. I mean, loved running the river, loved Idaho, and just decided, you know, I'm 18, finally come out here and run the rivers all summer and kind of get off the grid and, I don't know, be in the wilderness and then just kind of all in one deal of, I don't know, having fun, hanging out with people, but also just being outside, outdoors, sharing the experience with other people and other customers and, I don't know, just too good to pass up. You know. I'm super excited, definitely nervous because I hadn't had never done anything like this before, but um, definitely excited. Awesome. Yeah. Um, when you showed up in Idaho, like what were some of your first impressions? That the people here are awesome. I remember meeting like the other first year guides and being like, this is going to be a great year. Yeah. Awesome. Did you... So you didn't have river experience prior to coming in, really? No river experience like this. Okay. I'd been on like super mellow, like mellow rivers, but nothing like this. Cool. For sure. Good job. Uh, honestly, super, super nervous. Like this is a new place. I'd never been this far north in Idaho before. I don't really know a lot about whitewater, but it honestly all worked out for the best. Here with the company. Do you remember what it was kind of like, how you felt when you applied? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. It's like pretty exciting. It's like something I've never done before. Uh, most of my jobs have been revolving all around water, but I was pretty excited to come out. But you've never been, you never worked on rivers before? I hadn't worked on rivers before, no. Yeah, this is my first experience. And, you, and what are some of the trips you've done this year? I've done the day stretch, a couple, two days, lower salmon, payette. So you've done up to a four day trip this mm -hmm. year? Yeah, super fun. Cool. It's so beautiful, by the way. Thank you for putting me on that trip. <laughs> uh, do you feel like the training that you got set you up to, you know, get to a place where you could be comfortable guiding people down the river? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think there after the initial training, I definitely wanted more, but that was available. So, yeah. Cool. And how do you feel now? Good. I feel confident. Like you feel good going out and guiding people down the river? And yeah. Do you feel like the training you got at the beginning kind of gave you the confidence to go out and start doing the things we asked you to do early on? Yeah, absolutely. I think we learned a lot in those first few days. It was definitely like really long days on the water. It was super fun, but you also learned quite a bit. Prepare you for working out here. Uh, yeah. Um, we rode the same stretch of river six times and then did a training trip um, inflatable kayaking on the payette and I felt like that was super helpful for um, building confidence in knowing the river and river skills and rowing. Um, I think it was also helpful that after that we continued running trips just with other guides and um, older guides would help us give us tips um, tell us what to do in like more casual settings so we had a long time to prepare and hone our skills before actually taking any guests down the river. So after one season, kind of get you going and feel comfortable doing the work. Oh yeah, because we're running rapids at like fifty thousand CFS, and I mean right now into the season it's like four thousand or something. So you get the biggest uh, get the biggest rides right at the beginning and the biggest dumps too. So it's like you experience it all and you know what's coming uh, at the beginning of the season at training. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Honestly, the people. The people here made it the best experience. Coming back. Um, it's the people. Like, everybody that you work with um, kind of becomes, like, family. Um, you meet somebody, it could be one year out here, but it feels like you've known them your whole life. So you just want to keep coming back and making those great experiences. Um, overall, it was good. 
The people here are so very supportive and welcoming um, and just like over all around friendly people. So it was just super easy for me to to do that. I, you know, I first day I found some friends and I've been crashing at their place all summer. And, you know, we have certain things here that help make uh, my life easier, despite the fact that I don't have the most convenient living situation all the time. Fair. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Has it been a good summer job? Great, I would say. I mean, nothing better. Come out and live in Idaho and, I don't know, run white water for three months and just have a bunch of fun, meet a ton of new people from all over the states and it's super fun.